It's a sophisticated eye on our planet. A satellite set to launch this week will allow scientists to observe changes to the Earth in more detail than ever before, from earthquakes to floods and even changes to farmland. The $1.5 billion satellite is a joint mission between NASA and India's space agency. Brian Hackney shows us why it's so significant. We may be trying to save the Earth. This is the trace of the Hayward Fall. The Earth isn't exactly trying to save us. It pays to keep an eye on the planet. And the Nisar satellite will be watching every move the Earth makes. Quite literally. Jesus Christ, look at that. Oh, I just found an earthquake. Volcanic deformation, tectonic plate motion, land subsidence as you see here, and anything that's moving at the scale of a centimeter or so. The satellite's radar that will do all this was assembled at JPL, where Wendy Edelstein is the deputy project manager for NISAR. It uses a technique called radar interferometry. It can look for very small changes on the Earth's surface. It can penetrate through trees and get down to the bare Earth. For instance, when water's pumped from underground aquifers, NISAR will be watching from an orbital altitude of 460 miles. This animation is over the Central Valley of California, and we can see feet worth of uh, subsidence due to groundwater withdrawal in this area. It doesn't have one user. It has a whole variety of users. I plan to use it to look at creep for sure, um, particularly in Northern California, the Bay Area. Katherine Guns and her colleagues at USGS definitely need boots on the ground. Let's go find the fault. They'll also now have eyes in the sky with near real-time ground motion coverage. This thing is not just taking a snapshot once every 5, 10, 20 years. This is in continuous operation, right? Yes, absolutely. That's what's really most exciting to me as a scientist who uses this kind of data. Thank you, Ed. Every 12 days, we get a new picture. That'll allow us to assess what happens after earthquakes and before earthquakes, too, so we can see what's going on all the time. And I don't want to put you on the spot, but the question has to be asked. NASA has been under some pressure not to be forthcoming with the release of climate data. Mm -hmm. uh, are we going to be able to see the data from NISAR? Well, um, you know, I, I focus on the science aspects of it, and I think all the data for surface change, whether it's used for climate understanding or disaster response or helping our farmers, it's all going to be useful. It's also NASA's first collaboration on a satellite with India. And this is lifting off in India. All recorders too fast. It's lifting off in uh, Sri Harikota, which is the east coast of southern India, on July 30th. So keep an eye on that, because when it goes up, Thank you, it'll certainly be keeping an eye on us. Good.